Hello judges and those of you joining us at home. My name is Anu Rajendran. I'm from Swinburne University of Technology. And today I'm going to be speaking to you about the autonomous life support systems that I've been developing for astronauts. So, SpaceX, huh? Next month, the company will make history when they become the first commercial carrier to transport astronauts up to the International Space Station. This is a very important and first milestone in the timeline that will take humans to Mars. So once we get to Mars, then what? Well, I'm sorry to say, but the environment on Mars is incompatible with human life. This means that in the event of a medical emergency, because of the large and varying distances between Earth and Mars and the way they orbit around the sun, you could be waiting for up to 40 minutes to get a response from ground control. What we need is a technological solution. So how do we go about this? Well, up until now, space medicine researchers have been using what is known as a solution-led approach to developing these technologies. This means that, for example, if they were attempting to diagnose for stress in astronauts, they were making a selection of sensors which only diagnosed for stress. Unfortunately, we all know that there are more than just the factor of stress that comes into play. There is cause and there is also effect. The methodology which I'm using to develop my technologies as part of my research is known as a solution, uh, sorry, a scenario-led approach, which basically works backwards. It predicts every possible medical emergency scenario which astronauts could experience on Mars and works backwards and reverse engineers the technology which could mitigate those factors and then makes the selection of sensors which could assist the technology. For example, if we were looking at the technology that I'm working on, it consists of three different components. The first component monitors only health. This is in the functionality of an always-on wearable technology that astronauts wear all the time. The second component is environmental analysis. This environmental analysis is in the form of embedded sensors which are placed within the habitat, which are constantly monitoring for changes in ambient environment. The final component is the scheduling and operations component. It uses data from both the health monitoring technology and the environmental analysis technology to make changes within the scheduling and operations of the astronaut as well as the crew. This assists in things like rehabilitating sick astronauts or even managing things like fatigue and stress. While this is the very first phase of the actual technology, if we ever happen to meet again, I could tell you a little bit more about the second phase of the technology, which gets interesting because it begins to use machine learning algorithms as well as implementing a plan to integrate the technology, the new technology in with the old technology, also known as legacy systems. Unfortunately, that's all I have time for today. See you on Mars.